Hello and welcome to this video. In this video we're going to take a look at multi-charts and we're going to talk about how to use the market scanner function. So let's go ahead and get started here. You can see I just have multi-charts open with no windows open. I am connected to a data provider. Uh, to open up the market scanner window first we can go to file, new, and then scanner window here you'll see is one of the options. So I'll select that and that opens up the real-time market scanner window. So what exactly is the real-time market scanner window? It essentially allows you to uh, input a bunch of different instruments at once and then um, kind of view changes on those instruments and some other useful features that we'll take a look at in a moment. So for now, I'm gonna maximize it. So to get started here, all we need to do is actually type in in the instrument column here, uh, a symbol. So if I type in ESM3 here, that'll bring up the ES. And then we see we have a few different uh, options populate here, a few different columns here. You can see things like the trend, the high, low, the ask, the bid, last, net change, percentage change, total uh, volume it looks like here. We can uh, go ahead and adjust these. And of course you can adjust any of these col columns here. So I can just use the uh, dividers to make them a little bit more readable here if we wanted to. So you kind of see how that works. We can also input other instruments as well. So if I wanted to maybe add the NQ, I can do that here just by typing that in. And you'll see that will populate as well. Another thing that we can do to actually, uh, you know, if we had a lot of these different instruments, it might be good to actually break them down into categories. So for example, one thing that we can do is insert a group. So if I right mouse click here and select insert group, it'll actually have a grouping function here. So we can actually keep these uh, instruments together. So if I wanted to uh, have a group here, I can do that. I can also make another group, for example, here. So now I have group one and group two, but we can also rename these groups. So if I'll rename this one here, uh, maybe E-minis, and then I can name this one here, uh, for example, currency futures. So now we've kind of uh, adjusted these uh, so that we have them separated now. So we'll go ahead and add in uh, another uh, instrument here as well. So now we have two uh, in the E-mini section, two in the currency futures. Of course, we could have multiple uh, or more of these instruments. We're not limited to just two here, but for the purposes of this video, we'll keep it pretty simple here. So I have the ES and the NASDAQ futures here. Uh, in, in the E-mini section, we have the um, Euro futures here as well as the Australian dollar futures as well here and you can see we have all of these columns populated for all of these different uh, options here these different instruments but we can actually add in other columns as well and one thing we can do with these different columns is or the market scanner here is actually add in indicators so you can actually view a plethora of instruments here and view the different indicator values all on the real-time market scanner so to do that I'm just gonna go ahead and select the insert column here and select study and we can uh, choose from a variety of different studies, of course. So for example, one of the studies I may want to uh, include would be the ADX here. And you'll notice that it shows up here. And then we can uh, view that side by side uh, for all the different instruments. We don't have to go through different charts or have multiple ones on multiple charts. We can actually just view at a glance here the ADX values for multiple instruments. And we can add in more studies as well. We're not limited to just one. So I'll go ahead and add in another one here, for example. So something like, uh, say, a moving average uh, we could add in here. So we'll go ahead and add in one of these. And you'll see that will plot as well. So now we have a moving average and ADX. So we have multiple values here, multiple columns that we can adjust here. We can add in more studies. But another useful feature that I wanted to point out in this video uh, is to actually link your charts with the market scanner here. So you can actually um, switch between your charts fairly quickly here. So say you saw um, an ADX value that was interesting to you and wanted to view the chart, you could actually switch here between the instruments pretty quickly. So you can kind of have an overview here with the uh, real-time market scanner and then view more in-depth with a chart. So let's go ahead and add a chart in here. So what I'm gonna do here is I'll just create a, a regular chart. And then what we can do is to link them is use the linking function within multi-chart. So if we make them the same color here, uh, that will actually allow us 
to uh, link them together. So I can link them together as well. We'll set up the same color here on a real-time market scanner. So now these are both red, which means uh, any instrument that I choose within here, just with a click, it'll actually switch the right-hand chart here. So it makes it a little bit quicker. So I can switch between the uh, 6E there, the 6A, uh, the NQ, and the ES as well, and you can see how fast that is. So this is kind of a way to not only monitor multiple uh, values here, so we can view all of these different indicator values, but we can also switch between these different instruments fairly quickly using the real-time market scanner. So we can get, again, that overview, and then also view more detailed what's happening in that specific instrument on the right-hand side with our linked chart. And you can link it with multiple charts as well, for example, different time frames. And if you also notice here, we can actually calculate these values for different time frames. So I can add the 6E in here again, for example, but calculate it from a different time frame. So maybe 10 minutes here, so I can calculate all these values for a 10 minute time frame. So indicator values might be a little bit different, but still view them side by side. So this is not only a way to view different instruments at the same time, but also different time frames. So um, just another way that you could do that. And for example, I could always uh, insert a group here for different time frames as well. So I could rename this, for example, uh, five minute charts and then have uh, you know a separate 10 minute or maybe a longer time frame like a 60 minute uh, group as well so you're not limited to you know just the different uh, asset classes or different um, types of futures whether it's an e-mini futures or a currency futures you can also break it down by time frame or other things as well it's really up to your imagination how you want to use this so it's just another way to add some additional functionality and make it easier for you to view multiple instruments multiple time frames and link those fairly quickly within multi charts if you have any questions about this topic please feel free to let us know by giving us a call or going to our website at www.optimusfutures.com